Greetings, star children. It's I, Hemlock Moonwolf. Hemlock Moonwolf. Here to bring blessings of the Earth and its mother. Earth mother. Today, we're going to be talking about Gwyneth Paltrow. Most people don't know this, but Gwyneth Paltrow and I are actually ancient enemies. Our struggle goes back thousands of years over who is, in fact, vastly more woke. In fact, this not a lizard in a skin suit is all powerful and she sends constantly a specter of her image to plague and haunt me at all times. Usually, it's just simply hovering above my bed while I'm trying to sleep. But recently, since she caught news on the cosmic wind, cosmic wind, that I, Hemlock Moonwolf, Hemlock Moonwolf, will be doing a video on her, she started to send it to me, even here in the studio. Thankfully, I once learned from a very wise Scottish shaman a spell in which I can make this go away. Ominous, spiritous, dankulousness. Now then, as I was saying, Gwyneth Paltrow has made herself quite an empire on the wellness and detox circuit with her company, Goop. Goop is the militant marketing wing of her global secret society, hell-bent on infecting people with inane wellness and detox secrets, as well as convincing them to do some of the most ridiculous shit possible in order to be well. And now Goop has become something of a pseudoscience hydra. Pseudoscience hydra. With every head trying to reach into all different areas from newsletters, media representation, all sorts of wellness products, and plenty of advice columns. You can find various different articles written by chiropractors, integrative specialists, and of course, naturopaths. Now Gwyneth is obviously a master of the metaphysical arts and everything about healing and spirituality. For instance, tell us about earthing. What is earthing? Er oh, okay. earthing. I don't actually know that much about earthing, and it came out of me not knowing anything about earthing, but hearing about it. It's kind of, they say that we've lost touch with sort of being barefoot in the earth. Fascinating. And that there's some type of electromagnetic thing that we're missing. And that is so true. It's good to take your shoes off and walk in the grass. Okay. I don't know what the <laughs> we talk about. about. Excuse Excuse me, what? I don't know what the <laughs> we talk about. Well, that seems kind of odd. Earthing is a very simple concept. You walk barefoot or even lay down on the earth and feel the energy so you're more in tune with the Earth Mother. I wonder, maybe Gwyneth is slightly out of touch. Maybe, maybe, just possibly, Goop is a runaway mechanism of pseudoscience and that she herself is simply vapid and doesn't really know what she's talking about. I wonder if there's anything else that she's completely out of touch on. Actress and mom of two, Gwyneth Paltrow, drawing the anger of some working moms after suggesting Hollywood moms have it harder. I think to have a regular job and be a mom, of course there are challenges, but it's not like being on set. Oh, I feel exactly the same way. Anytime I see a single mother who's a business professional and struggles to juggle her bills, her childcare, having time to spend with her family, and also make a life for herself, all I can think of is, that woman has everything, doesn't she? You see, my life here at the Hemlock Moonwolf Ashram is a very troubled one. For instance, just this morning, I had to pick and choose which one of my servants was going to bathe me in essential oils. What is with all these choices? I'm just a man. But there's also the problem of being out of touch with the rest of society as well. When you look at some of the products on her website, True, she does at times have things for under $100, but if you really want to understand how extravagant Gwyneth Paltrow's tastes are, all you have to do is look at the $16,000 solid gold dildo. But to understand how woke Gwyneth really is, we have to look into the practices that are recommended by her on her website. For instance, vaginal steaming. The real golden ticket here is the Mugwort V Steam. You sit on what is essentially a mini throne and a combination of infrared and Mugwort steam cleanses your uterus. Or perhaps the wise words of Dr. Linda Lancaster, 
where you probably have parasites and the best way to treat it is with a goat milk bath. Parasites are very common. About four in six patients I see in my practice are infected with at least one. Digestive disturbances and diarrhea are common symptoms of amoebas. If you have a health system with a low vibrational field or a weak I prescribe the goat milk because it's been found to be the closest to mother's milk. They have a very similar pH. Or maybe some of the amazing products that are sold on Goop, like the Implant Orama Coffee Enemas. Found this enema kit that is more like a colonic kit I've been doing coffee enemas for the last three days of it, and it's sensational. I feel amazing. But really, nothing truly gets those energy spouts tingling. Tingling spouts. Like a metaphysical colon hydrotherapy. Ooh. I see the spiritual aspect of colon hydrotherapy is quite fascinating. When we approach physical perspective, I've been honored to work with so many people who have felt safe enough to open up to me about their lives. With so many people searching for love, how can it be that there are so many misconnections? What can we do to fulfill this most basic desire? And how does colonics are all about letting go, not just on a physical level, but mental, emotional, and especially spiritual. I'm back. All right, fine, fair play, Gwyneth. It seems like you're pretty woke, but really, I can do better. After I, Hemlock Moonwolf, Hemlock Moonwolf, am a level 37 health guru, whereas you are still in the mid 20s. Bring it, bitch. Oh, what's that? You sell a jade egg, all about strengthening the pelvic floor. That's nothing but a rock, Gwyneth. It's a rock. Instead, why not head over to HealingWithHemlock.com HealingWithHemlock.com and purchase some of your very own Earth Mother eggs. Not only will it strengthen your pelvic floor by having to hold them inside of you, but also you will be helping to incubate the next generation of Elder Gods before they dump out of your body and go burrowing deep, deep into the mantle of the planet. Oh, what's that I hear? You promote people sting themselves with bees? Um, it's actually a very ancient remedy for uh, arthritis and inflammation and scar tissue, which is that they take, they sting you with a bee. The bee sting has all these amazing healing properties. Don't bees die when they sting someone? Oh. Yeah, they do. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Far be it for me to be disparaging you for taking the life of a lesser life form to enhance yourself spiritually. After all, I'm not a pussy. Man. But at the same time, it seems that there's a little bit of a problem with you promoting that. What could that be? A 55-year-old woman in Spain died after receiving bee sting therapy, or apitherapy. It's the first reported death for the therapy, which has been promoted by Gwyneth Paltrow and Goop. Getting stung by insects is nothing but child's play. At my wellness clinic, instead, we'll simply dump a bucket full of live scorpions all over you. And we won't try and beat around the bush. You'll probably die. But if you don't... You'll be pretty woke. Or hey, how about body vibes? Those magical stickers you like to sell. You're electric, baby. Every cell in our body stores and emits electricity. Every breath we take and every muscle we move involves electrical activity. Body Vibes is a vibrational energy disc designed to help people achieve harmonic homeostasis. Body Vibes contain frequencies believed to have various harmonizing effects on human bodies. Of course, not all human bodies are the same, so the effects may be different for each person. Through proprietary technology, frequencies are recorded, condensed, and stored within the sticker. No, it's just a fucking sticker. It's a sticker. It's a 35 to $60 fucking sticker. That's it. On the flip side, over at Healing with Hemlock, Healing with Hemlock. we have our very own brand of magical stickers, the Earth Mother stickers. And I can absolutely guarantee you that unlike Gwyneth's crap ass Body Vibe stickers, these ones do in fact work. If you apply one of these to your body, you will magically be able to shoot lasers out of your urethra. The truth of the matter is, is that Gwyneth Paltrow is just an out of touch celebrity who has found a way to really make a lot of money without having to do a lot of work by promoting a bunch of alternative health quackery. But the problem is, is that she's not even really good at it. She's an amateur compared to me. I mean, even here, trying to sell something as simple as perfume. I can outdo it easily. 
with my own brand to counter goop, slop. Be sure to stay tuned for more information on the first iteration of slot products and also be aware that the second iteration, tentatively titled Slop Second, is on its way in development. I would like to end this video with a personal message to Gwyneth. Dear Gwyneth, stop sending your metaphysical manifestations to haunt me while I'm attempting to sleep. Your pagan gods do not stand next to the Earth Mother <laughs> whose eldritch tentacles right now spread throughout the crust of the planet, consuming all that was, all that is, and all that ever will be. You cannot compete, so step off, bitch. I have been Hemlock Moonwolf, Hemlock Moonwolf. here to give you blessings of the Earth and its mother. Earth Mother. Namaste. I don't know what the <laughs> we talk about. <laughs>